This is officially not a tutorial anymore. I'm just braiding my hair. Hey y'all, it's all of Destiny. Ooh, and Ratchet Destiny. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all how I did my own knotless braids. Wish me luck. <sighs> Okay, it's 10.30 at night, so I'm not about to talk to y'all at all. But I'm about to sit here and do my hair in this present moment. By the time y'all see the video, I know what I decided, obviously. I'm torn between three different styles. I want to do two braids because it means I can hurry up and go to bed and just save all the extraness for another time. Or I can sacrifice and just make it do what it does. I don't know. <sighs> Ow. I wish I could just... And be done but it doesn't happen like that ow my finger this is not the time to close my finger up in the drawer to part my hair and make it nice and smooth i'm taking the 24 hour edge tamer by even new york this is the extreme firm hold family size mind your business and i'm just going to part my hair it doesn't matter how the initial part looks because once i run the edge tamer down my part and i repart my hair with this red tail comb it gets this super straight. I'm talking about super straight. Also, I did blow dry my hair already. If that's not obvious, it's been washed, conditioned. And I do have natural hair, meaning it's not chemically processed, but you can definitely do this style if your hair is relaxed. So I'm only gonna have three braids in the back. I'm using the Murray's Beeswax. I'm also going to apply this onto each individual parting space to further help me straighten it out. So real quick, I have a question. Can you relate or not? I just wanna know. Inquiring minds wanna know. Now the thing about this beeswax, you gotta calm to my, you gotta really calm it through. You gotta smooth it, okay? I will admit I probably used too much of this. I've occasionally been rubbing at the root part of my braid just because it kind of, it'll start looking white right there a little bit. But of course, trial and error, I learn as I go. I know next time. So I started off braiding with my own hair. I have done feed in braids a few times on my channel, but this is only my second time doing knotless braids. The very first time was August of 2020. I took a little bit of time to skim through those comments and I gained a few tips. Start braiding with your own hair and also don't feed in as much hair. Today's featured comments are from that previous knotless braids video. So shout out to you guys. Once you can't braid down with your arm behind you anymore, it's very crucial that when you bring the hair to the front, you do not allow it to twist itself over. Also, once I get to where my own natural hair is beginning to end and I'm only going to be plating up the braiding hair, I make sure that I reach for some of that beeswax or the edge control of choice and I make sure that I'm smoothing that along the hair because that's going to ensure that it's locked into the braid and I won't have to take them down because they're getting old too quick. Less is more. But at the same time, don't be stingy with your product. I think the hardest part about doing knowledge braids is really the parting by yourself. That's what takes the longest. So we have three braids on our first row. On the next row, I think I have about four braids. I'm repeating that same step. I make my initial part. I use the edge control to make it even more perfect. And then we'll start our subsection. So once you get to the next section, in order for my braids to be in windows, I'm being mindful of where my braids are. And as I part, I want that part to hit directly in the middle of the braid that is below it. Once I have that parted finally, I'm applying some more of the beeswax, some more of the edge control, combing it through because it's going to really straighten out my natural hair further. If you're natural, you know what I mean. Sometimes um, you'll still have like your braid. Your hair will be smooth, but it'll be smooth with that wave to it. So this beeswax kind of just really straightens the hair out well for you. So after I've crossed over with braiding my own hair, my pointy finger and thumb, they kind of meet. So I'm gonna pick up my added piece and I place that right in between my pointy finger and thumb. And the two legs where you're adding the hair in is held to the right piece and the middle piece, if that makes sense. So I place it in there and then it's held with the right in the middle. You cross that in. And then once your hands are back in that same motion, because braiding is just repetition. Um, I'm only adding in three pieces of hair. On some braids, I chose to add in four. And this is basically the same thing as the feed-in method when you do feed-in feed -in braids onto your scalp. The only difference for knotless braids is that these are sort of like plaits. So they're not held onto the um, scalp, if that makes sense. Occasionally, I like to stop and see while I'm ahead of myself, if my braid is as neat as I would like for it to be, because I can always stop and go back if I stop soon enough. It's 12.45 by my fast clock, 12.45 a.m. And I only got two rows done, seven braids, three on the bottom row, four on the second row. <sighs> so I was able to do seven braids with one pack of this type of hair. 
the one that has three in it. Listen to me, listen to me. So I'm using the Ultra Expression in 1B, three times the Ultra Braid, 52 inches. It's the expression hair, 100% Kangalow. That that Kangalow, I know that's not how you say it. Stop type, it's supposed to be funny. Y'all be ruining things. Most asked question, how much hair did she use? This much. <laughs> this much, love. <laughs> I don't know what else I should say. <laughs> but I'm able to separate one of those bundles into about eight to 10 pieces. That's it, that's the caption. <laughs> but once you get the hang of this, it's a very basically tedious process. You're just repeating the same steps over and over. The most important part is getting these parts on point. Look at me getting tired. We don't get tired, baby, come on. Come on, you want to do this, do it. Keep going, what you doing? What you doing? Ratchet Destiny said, what's good, baby? You gotta be able to be pretty when a nigga like wake up, be like, oh, y'all look like this, what's up? Once you let Ratchet Destiny on the track, ain't no going back, okay? <laughs> Continue parting. I'm taking my time. I just took my time with all this. I still believe in that. I had someone tell me I fell off. Ooh, I needed that. Oh, in order for me to part without the mirror like I'm doing right now, my thumb was marking my spot for me. And I'm still doing my windows. These parts are falling directly in the middle of the previous one, the one that is below it. And we're just going to keep going. But since this is a repetitive process, since I'm doing the same thing over and over and over until I'm out of sections, let's talk about failure. Let's talk about not giving up. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I told you all, the first time I did knotless braids on myself was in 2020. I skimmed through those comments again briefly. Some people were feeling it, some people were not, but y'all know me. I ain't no quitter. Anything that I've gotten well at doing is because I've continued to try. It's the same thing, really, with everything. When I first started doing my nails in 2011, actually, I started my YouTube channel in 2011 as well. I think people didn't see those videos, so now when you watch me do my nails and it's like, oh, those look good. When you watch me do my feet and braids and it's like, oh, those look good. But there was once a time where it did not. And I think the difference, what sets me apart, I won't compare myself to anyone because I don't like to do that, but I think what sets me apart is even if something is not my absolute best, I'm still gonna show you because what good is a journey without showing the ups and the downs? Ooh, and I need you to know where I started from. We only get better at the things that we attempt and we try over and over and over again because if you want something bad enough, you don't quit. It's like two in the morning. I am to be exact. I wanna go to bed. I don't know why I do things like this. It's so stupid of me. Oh yeah, sure, starting your hair at 10 p.m. And I say things like this often on my channel because I want it to resonate well with you and I want it to motivate and inspire and encourage you to keep trying. I'm not gonna try to do these braids. I'm about to give up. <laughs> like, in any moment, take braids out of the picture if you don't even care to wanna ever braid your own hair but you just supporting this video. First off, thank you. A lot of y'all asked me about this new shift of me approaching 30 this year. I think at some point it's just when your mind is made up that you will or will not do a certain thing. You just take that and you end up running with it. <sighs> Every time I focus on trying to explain it to y'all, in my mind for the voiceover, I mess up. This is officially not a tutorial anymore. I'm just braiding my hair. Between editing and doing this, my hand hurts very bad. Hello guys, it's the next day and my mother is here. She's about to part, pre-part everything for me and then I'ma just. You doing a whole way. Down the middle though. You yeah, want me to show yeah. you how it's gonna lay? I'ma put the picture up y'all cause y'all know I like to give credit where it's due. The girl on Instagram who inspired me wanting to do it cause I know a lot of people have wore it. The Squeeze parts it. are gonna be in the middle like that. I can lay my chair down. You wanna use the other comb? I'm good. So there's one more going like that. She ain't really so, turning around. No, I'm saying me. I'm using common sense. Mm -hmm. Seeing that it's one more going like this and then like these right here. I hope I got enough hair to finish it. I think I do. Yeah, that's what take the longest, trying to part it. Once you part it, plating the hair in is like super quick. You're trying to do this yourself, I can only imagine. Yeah, next time I'm going to go and get it done. No, you're going to just talk to me to help you part. I was up till 4 o'clock in the morning. I got four hours of sleep. Dominique don't be up as late as me. I was gonna keep going. She said, you need to go to bed because the longer you stay up, that means you're gonna sleep through the day and not yep. get it done. So I went to bed at four, got up at 8.30. Hey, Greg was talking about you, Dominique, this morning. He said, Dominique more motherly. No, she not. He did. He How did. she more, she ain't more motherly than me. I'm a cancer. <laughs> Cancers are the most nurturing. I ain't. Well, he said nurturing, he said motherly. Motherly. 
I am more motherly than oh, Dominique Lachey. Elaborate on that statement. You can't make a statement like that and not explain yourself. <laughs> explain what you huh? mean. He said, say like if something was to happen to you. He said, that's not no, it's the more probably know how to do the money and stuff. But Dominique would be the one to be on them about doing this and doing that. Cause he was talking about you leaving that coffee pot on. Because he said, even when y'all live at home, Got me check them doors every night, it's a sure wood. Listen, Elder. I ain't going to sleep without checking those doors. You'll never get me. I'm going to hear you coming. Yeah, Maybe you just see Dominique checking the door and you never saw me do it, but I do it discreetly. I do a lot of things discreetly. She burned the house down discreetly, but, uh, Dominique. <laughs> yeah, I better thank God the spirit led Dominique, though. So we're going to breeze through this now that my mom has pre parted right. for me. Thank you, Sweet Pea. And. My I'm sister ready, cooked me breakfast. Shout out to T. I can keep going. Okay, that shouldn't take you too long, huh? Nah, I'm finna run through it now. I'm gonna separate the hair out and. <laughs> too much? Okay, lunch break. I'll be back. Thank goodness I have four braids left. Four. It's taking a long time to get here. I could have read some of the comments where some people said, oh, her braids don't look that good. She should have gotten an appointment, da, da, da. I ain't seen nobody say I should have gotten an appointment, but I'm just saying. When the naysayers are in your ear and the chatter gets loud, you have to remain distracted from distractions if you're going to move forward. The future don't really exist until you actually get to that point. So getting better at doing something means you continue and you keep trying. And again, if you're not trying to braid your hair, then take braiding out of it and let that mean whatever else it means for you. Sometimes I want my voiceovers to be a little inspirational. Sometimes I let Ratchet Destiny do her thing. There is no box to put me in. Oh, thank goodness. So as I'm feeding in the hair, I'm feeding it in when my pointy finger and my thumb meet since braiding is a repetition. I'm going to place it right in between the middle of that. And then if we're looking at the three strands as legs, the middle leg and the right piece furthest to the outside is what gets the hair. I'm going to always give you all variety on my channel. I'm going to always show you all with anything that you do if you continue to do it. If you continue to try and you don't have a give up attitude that you can perfect your craft. And I hope that that helps somebody. So as I'm continuing to braid down, I am reaching for more product that helps me to lock my natural hair into the braid very well. It'll keep it from slipping out in the upcoming days. What was I about to say? So I'm braiding tight. So my braid is not like a loose plait. You want to braid it with some kind of um, tightness to it so that it's like, you know, nice and secure. Each braid has about three to four pieces fed into it. And what determines if it's going to be four, I guess, if it wasn't matching up with the thickness of the other braid or if it was not matching with the other length, just add more hair. Don't think so hard about it. Sometimes I get questions about things that are too technical. Um, just trust the process and kind of just like go with it. My advice if you want to count the packs of hair is always to just get more than what you think you would need. That way you won't have to go back. And with me always purchasing a good amount of hair, it just means if I need it, I'm able to reach for it. You can always store it away later. So I always get more. I did go back and I had to um, analyze the picture the next morning because at first I was braiding my hair all the way down to the end. That's when I realized I was like, whoa, she got curls at the end. So I did have to unplaid about eight of these, put the rubber band on it. Ooh, finally done. Oh my God, that took forever. Two days to be exact. I'm gonna put a flexi rod on it. I could not find my perm rods. Perm rods work better for this, but I still was able to get a curl this way. And I'm just going to trim the ones that may be a little too long so that they can kind of be similar in length. Wrap it around. If you don't have enough rods for this, you can definitely put more than one braid on there. I know you all like numbers. I think I counted about 27 to 30 braids. Go for it, give this a try. And if at first you don't succeed, try again. Because now, I thought somebody who said my braids didn't look good the first time said something. What was said? <laughs> Come again, say what? So we got the water boiled at this point. Somebody gave me advice about like pouring the water downwards instead. I ain't trying to pour water all over my floor to dip my braids. So I'm gonna just keep dipping it. I'm gonna keep doing the pot method, okay? So I'm dipping about five at a time, squeezing it out with my towel. This is going to help to seal the braids. It's going to remove some of the rigidity and make my braids more fluid so that when I turn my head and say, what? Who said what? My hair will move with me and it won't be stiff. Stiff where? Stiff where? <laughs>
it was a two day process. But like I said, I ain't no quitter. If you ain't learned nothing else from my channel by now, I think that that's something you should know. Give me something good to eat because yeah. Hungry ain't the word. Look at me, I don't even supposed to take the film off. Yup, let it vent. So instead of letting my hair air dry, I had this genius idea of putting it into my bonnet dryer while I multitask and pack for my trip to Atlanta, which you all will be seeing those vlogs coming up soon. This is how I'm drying my hair. I mean, I don't have to dry them this way, but I thought of it when I was sitting here because I was holding like my handheld one at first. And then look at me, I got the vlog camera in the way so I can't even see you. And then I was like, you know what? Cause I'm trying to get my stuff packed up. I was like, I'm finna multitask cause I was letting them drip at first. But with them being wet, they're even heavier. And with them having flexi rides on each one, I think I counted 30 braids. This is a hair dryer. Yeah, you better call me back. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. Look at my braids. Look at oh so luscious and oh so good. Like, it's very much given. That's just how I'm living. It's very much given a skirmish. Hey, what your name is? Hey, shot it with the braids. Yeah. It's very much <laughs> It's very much given, okay? It's given what it needs to give. That's pretty much it, guys. That's how I did my own braids by myself. I'm super proud of myself for this. We did it. We did it, Joe. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. Sometimes I just really do this. Let's just put that out there. I don't talk enough noise, so let's just put that out there that I do this. I ain't new to this, I'm true to this, okay? Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. And as always, y'all know I thank y'all so much for watching. Flip sprays. We got the middle part. We got the side part. I look like these. I look like these. I even look like that. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm actually um, fake doing it because I'm already done doing it, but I didn't have footage of it. Yeah.